Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna do a divine timing message here for you. I will, somebody asked me about, and I've been getting a lot of reading requests um, about many questions. I think I will do them this week. It will probably be, and I know I've said during the summer, I'm going to do it on Monday, but I'll probably do it Sunday because we may go to the beach on Monday for a few days. Um, so, but I'm only going to accept 10. I'm only going to accept 10. 10 questions at it because anything after that is too much. It's too long of a lot. Um, so only 10. If you're interested, many questions are um, $20 for one question, $35 for two. Um, and that's it. Now only accept 10. All right. So the information will be tagged in the first comment. All right. All right. So let's take a look here for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, and angels. What does Aries need to see? I'm sorry if you hear Pugsley in the background. He's going crazy. He hears somebody outside. Let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? Opportunities, the door. I'm going to pull three. Okay. Dog barking. <laughs> dog barking at the bottom of the deck. My dog is going crazy right now. Advice from a friend. So we have um, door. Opportunities are waiting for you. I hope you guys can hear him. He's so loud. You have the rats. I don't know. Someone working against you behind your back. And the dagger. Wow, a double whammy. Fears, worries, tense situations. Tell us about this person. Who's doing this? Tell us about this person. expectation tell us about the person who's doing this toil and labor tell us about the person who's doing this 28 38 and despair give us one more about the person who's doing this to aries give us one more about the person who's doing this to aries the lovers that was the lovers that wanted to pop out tell us about who's doing this to aries distant horizons the ages 28 38 32 36 could be significant um message at the bottom of the deck so there's somebody we have expectation toil and labor my dog is going crazy so i don't know what's going on here um toil and labor despair and distant horizons what i'm getting here is that there's somebody expecting some sort of outcome um, they're putting in a lot of hard work or they're doing some sort of work here. I don't know if it's working because they're in despair, but there's something here. This may be kind of, I don't know if this is the same energy from what do you need to know, but they're at a distance here or they're coming towards you um, and they're expecting something to work, but they're in despair. I'm trying to see if Pugs is going to stop. What's going on? Let's pull from this deck here. Pugsley usually barks for a second and this stops. We got first date. Tell me more. You're about to fall in love, but it's in reverse. So somebody's trying to stop something. Let's see here. This is risky business, shady person. Money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy around you. Hidden motives. This keeps coming out. You need balance or rest. Twin flames in reverse. So somebody could have a, a twin flame that says use your talent. You are talented. Lawsuit payout, large money coming to you. You deserve better. What is going on with this dog? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see here. What does Aries need to know about this situation?
<laughs> that you're Aries, you're the emperor, okay? You're in control of the situation, Aries, all right? You've been through a lot, but you're going to you're going to be okay here. Somebody could be en envious of your position, your maybe even it's just your energy of authority. Um you maybe people listen when you speak, but there's something here of you being in control, you're being the boss to a sword, something may be blocked. Someone may be blocked. So what does Aries need to know about this situation? Seven of Wands here. Someone here is like, you need to stand your ground too as well, protect yourself. But somebody could be trying to fight or cause up some drama here. But the Seven of Wands here is you standing your ground, protecting yourself, defending yourself. Tell me more about here. What does Aries need to know? The Three of Swords, protecting your heart. This is also some sort of heartbreaking situation, some sort of heartbreaking truth. Could have been a third party situation. Got the Queen of Cups. What does Aries need to know? And we got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. It's usually Scorpio energy. But um, tell me more about the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands for Aries? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. Mm. Somebody who is deceptive or lying here is being upset about something. Being exposed. And this is like, with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords coming out in the same reading, very, very hurtful deception, trickery, stabbed in the back, like um, cheating, trying to get away with something. Somebody may be upset because there was an exposure and now they're trying to fight back. Tell me more. Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And there's some, there's some sort of, you got that large sum of money coming in, a payout, a blessing, abundance. Oh my God, it's my dog. Two of Wands, taking action in a new direction, choosing something else, moving forward. Tell me about what this Two of Wands is. The Tower. The Tower came crossing on top of the Two of Wands. So it's like maybe this has already happened. Yeah, the Temperance. There's already healing. And you need to remain balanced. The Three of Pentacles. There's also an increase leveling up in the ten of wands here it's going to bring in this increase this financial increase is going to bring an end to a very burdensome difficult situation and the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is showing that there's some sort of monetary blessing coming in but so there's opportunity so it said that opportunity is awaiting for you but someone is working against you seven of wands here and the seven of swords so that's the working against you part and they're doing it in a sneaky way. And the Three of Swords and the King of Cups. What is someone doing? This keeps coming out. And I'm tired of reading this energy. <laughs> I'm tired of reading this energy. But like, honestly, truly, I'm tired. I'm tired of it. <laughs> like, somebody needs to know it. Because it's very prevalent in your energy, Aries. It's so in your energy. And I'm going to use a different deck. I mean... It's like somebody's trying to take you out of your position. This could be a work thing because I did see the three of pentacles. But some of you, this is a lover. Husband's about to find a new home. Not all of this for the Amazon people. Uh, all right. You need balance. You need rest. Twin flames. Large sum of money. And lawsuit payout, hidden motives, money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy around you. This is risky business, shady person. And you're about to fall in love and first date. Could be somebody you dated, but what I'm getting energetically is somebody's trying to slow love down for you. Let's use this deck. And I'm going to ask one more time here. And see why this keeps coming up. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angels. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to see what's going on. The neighbor's dog got out. Wow. So Pugsley was really trying to alert. <laughs> he was really trying to say, because I've never heard Pugsley bark like that before. Like the neighbor's dog got out and he has a huge dog. All right. Let's see here. I'm sorry for the distractions. Why does, why does Aries really need to know about the situation, Spirit? What do they need to know in order to help them? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands again. And this time it came kind of in reverse. Somebody feels defeated. Getting chills. Hi, Pisces. Tell me what does Aries need to do? What action does Aries need to take? In this situation, what action does Aries need to take in this situation? Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Tell me about this. Oh, I knew it. I was like, not speak the truth. There it is, the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> By you speaking your truth, it's like going to put a nail in someone's coffin. But they're wanting you to keep your energy in a more positive way. But just by you speaking your truth, what's saying what's on your mind is going to, it's going to end something. Tell me about this. What does Aries need to do? Six of wands, remain confident. Um, don't get down by the situation. It seems like six of wands is success anyways, and continue to move forward in a successful direction, but also to remain confident, speak your truth here. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to engage in anything back and forth. This message keeps coming out. Justice will prevail. Tell me what Aries needs to do. Knight of pentacles. And this is like moving in the other direction.